Welcome to our channel, where we explore the timeless teachings and narratives of the Holy Scriptures. In today's episode, we dive into a profound topic, the seven sins God hates in a Christian's life. The book of Proverbs offers invaluable insights, guiding us along the path of righteousness and pointing out the attitudes we must avoid to keep a close relationship with our Creator. Join us as we uncover the wisdom of King Solomon and reflect on how these teachings still resonate in our lives today. A quick disclaimer, this video may not be for those who consider themselves perfect and are unwilling to change their ways. The book of Proverbs provides clear instructions and warnings outlining exactly what God expects from us. As Solomon shows us the path we should follow, he also warns us about the attitudes we must avoid, the very sins that God despises. This is precisely what happens in chapter 6, where it says, There are six things the Lord hates, seven that are detestable to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to rush into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict among brothers. In these verses, King Solomon identifies seven sins that we must eliminate from our lives if we want to deepen our relationship with God. Let's explore each one. The first sin, haughty eyes. To have haughty eyes means being prideful, believing you're better than others for any reason. Pride is so dangerous that the Bible says it leads to destruction and downfall. Proverbs 16, 18. It's troubling to see many believers who, simply because they attend church or know the word, feel entitled to judge and condemn others, just like the religious leaders in Jesus' time, who, in a parable, were shown to be prideful. A Pharisee prayed, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, while a tax collector humbly asked for mercy. In the end, the prideful Pharisee was rejected, but the humble man was accepted because he recognized his dependence on God. As Jesus concluded, for all who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Luke 18.14 The second sin, a lying tongue. A Christian should be known for living in truth and standing for it, no matter the cost. We must flee from all forms of deceit. Jesus once said, You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, for there is no truth in him. John 8, 44. Sometimes we lie to make ourselves look better or to hide our wrongdoings. The danger is that if we lie enough, we might start believing our own falsehoods. That's why we need to be cautious and ensure our words align with the truth. Because, as Jesus said, for the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Matthew 12, 34. Ask God to transform your heart, starting today. The third sin, hands that shed innocent blood. When we think of shedding innocent blood, we often think of murder, which is indeed a grave sin. But it goes beyond physical acts of violence. It includes abuse, neglect, or even emotional harm. Many people appear righteous in church, but are abusive at home. And God despises this. Jesus reminded us on the Mount of Olives that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Matthew 5.22 Harboring hatred in our hearts is equivalent to breaking the commandment, You shall not murder. May God help us value life and show love even toward our enemies. The fourth sin, a heart that devises wicked plans, evil thoughts often take root in our hearts if we allow them to grow. 
Feelings of bitterness, envy, or the desire for revenge can sprout from a wicked heart. Proverbs warns us, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Proverbs 4.23 The best way to protect our hearts is by filling them with God's Word and obeying His commandments. Surround yourself with people who encourage you to follow the right path because, as it's written, bad company corrupts good character. 1 Corinthians 15.33 The fifth sin, feet that are quick to rush into evil. This refers to those who seem eager to do wrong, whether it's taking advantage of others, harming them, or breaking commitments. Solomon tells us that the righteous will live. But those who seek evil rush toward their own death. We must remember that while God is loving, He is also just, and those who rush into wrongdoing will face consequences. The Sixth Sin A false witness who spreads lies. Spreading falsehoods about someone can destroy their reputation and life. God abhors this, yet it happens too often, even in churches. The Bible says, Love covers over a multitude of sins, 1 Peter 4, 8. So when gossip or slander arises, stop it at the root. Encourage people to pray instead of spreading harmful rumors. The seventh sin, stirring up conflict among brothers. Of all the sins listed in Proverbs, stirring up discord is particularly detestable to God. Division causes destruction whether in families, churches, or communities. As Jesus said, a house divided against itself will not stand. Matthew 12, 25. Let's work to maintain unity, knowing that Satan thrives in division. The powerful message of Proverbs 6 serves as a timeless reminder of the dangers that can block our spiritual progress. I invite you to reflect on your own life. Are any of these sins present? How can you work to overcome them and strengthen your relationship with God and others? If this video resonated with you, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more enriching content. Share this message with friends and family, and may God bless you as you continue on your spiritual journey.